Please come in, take seat. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm a bit nervous. I've actually never, never done anything like this before. So, you would, um, you would like to know the future? Uh, yeah, of course. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm paid. Are you sure? I'm absolutely certain. So, this is very serious. I will look into my crystal ball, and I will tell you your future. All right. Crystal ball, please. Show me. Tell me. Show me the future. I can see you are a comedian. <laughs> yes, but no points for that. I am quite successful. Next year, you will no longer be comedian. No? You will be substitute teacher and amateur hairdresser. I, really? Your uniform for these jobs will be tracksuit bottoms. You will wear these tracksuit bottoms every day for many months. And on top half, you will wear a t-shirt that you slept in night before. That sounds very odd. Okay. I see you getting very excited about a trip next year. Oh, oh, that's probably the safari that I've booked. We've actually been really looking forward to that. We're going with friends. No, the trip that you are most excited about next year seems to be a trip to the garden center. Sorry, am I not going on holiday with friends? Dream on. I'm afraid your friends will no longer come within two meters of you. That's, that can't be the case. I'm having a huge birthday party next year. Cancelled! You will sing happy birthday, though, to yourself. Every day. At least eight times. That's very sad. And all your friends, they will be furloughed. Furloughed? Furloughed. You can't just make words up. I see you now. You are in a shop. You are at the till. You are very, very nervous. You are wearing a mask on your face and gloves on your hands. Am I robbing this show? Am I going to be a robber? You will spend many months inside. You will only be allowed out for one exercise per day. I'm going to be in prison for robbery. That's what you're telling me. If I'm not going to be working as a comedian or a TV host, I'm not going to be earning any money at all. Things are going to be quite tough for me. I may be incarcerated. Seeing as you know everything that's going to happen, maybe you could tell me something that maybe I could put a bet on, make a little bit of extra money for myself. I know what you're saying. You think I don't do this from time to time? Brilliant. I can tell you the winner of Strictly Come Dancing 2023. The winner is... Chris Whitty. Who? And he will win with a cha-cha-cha. Sorry, what about something else, like in sport? It's the Olympics next year. How, how's Team GB going to get on? Let's have a look. Oh, OK. OK. I see you now. You are sitting at home. You are enjoying a British athlete. And he has many, many medals. Mo Farah? No. It is a 99-year-old pensioner walking around his garden using Zimmer frame. I have no idea what that even means. Is this, is this crystal ball actually, actually, actually working? Whoa, 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 please. Okay. Please, step back, do not touch ball. Sorry. Please, please don't touch crystal ball. Antibacterial. Oh, please, come on. Please don't touch balls. Do you, sorry, do you always carry hand sanitizer with you? I know what's coming. Can you tell me something positive? Have I got anything? to look forward to. I can see now your family roots. I suppose that's, that's very impressive. You can see the ancestry of my, of my family. No, I can tell you that your mother, your sister, and your wife has very, very dark roots in their hair. Well, I'm sorry, but that doesn't sound very believable. My wife is literally always in the hairdresser. I don't know her natural color. I see your wife, you are together. It is 10 o'clock in the morning, only just turned 10 a.m. You are both drinking Prosecco together. It is a Tuesday. That sounds exciting. What are we celebrating? You are celebrating Tuesday. Although both of you think it's Wednesday. Really? I see your wife again. Ooh. 
Her roots are even worse. You are giving her a gift. She's Ooh. so happy. She is laughing and kissing you all over as you give her the gift. I've never seen anybody so happy. I think I know what this is. Yeah, that, that'll, it's, well, we have a big anniversary coming up next year, so that's probably, that's probably the necklace that, that I'm giving her. No, the gift you are giving your wife is one kilogram plain flour. I'm sorry, this is all sounding quite odd and far-fetched. What about the news? Big question, I'm sure you get it a lot. What is going to happen with Brexit? Brexit? Nobody will ever mention it ever again. I'm not so sure. I see you living in lockdown. Loch? Loch? Is that in Scotland? Somewhere is that in Scotland? Is that near Loch Lomond? Loch down. Loch down? Hmm. Sounds fun. I'm going to Google that. That sounds quite exciting. Maybe it might help if I ask you some specific questions. Um, as you know, I am the host of a big BBC One Saturday night entertainment show, Michael McIntyre's Big Show. I know the Big Show. I watch it. I'm not very unprofessional of me to tell you, but I'm a big fan of show. Unexpected star of the show, or as we call it in my house, wait for it, expected star of the show, because I am fortune teller. I know what's coming. Are we going to win the BAFTA next year? OK, I can see you next year. I see you getting very excited. Very big achievement. Your proudest achievement will be the completion of 500-piece puzzle of Star Wars Episode New Hope. What? Also very proud achievement, big day. The baking of banana bread. So I won't, I won't be a comedian next year or a TV host. Not really, but I can tell you that you will have many meetings. These meetings will always be in your kitchen. You'll never wear trousers. And the meetings will always begin with the words. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can see you. I can't hear you. You need to unmute it. Press bottom left. It's in the, the bot. I'm texting you. Good. I can hear you now. None of that makes any sense whatsoever. How do you please sign currently your emails? Question. Oh, right. Signing in at the end of an email are best wishes, I suppose. Just best wishes. From next year, you will sign all emails with stay safe. 